Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a huge part of children's lives, and it's only going to get bigger. Children interact with AI technologies in their toys and video games. AI drives chatbots and adaptive learning software, while social media algorithms tell children what videos to watch next, what news to read, and who they should be friends with. AI even plays a role in determining their family's welfare subsidies, the quality of their healthcare, and their access to education. And yet, despite its enormous impact on children's lives and futures, AI strategies in most countries pay little attention to how AI is meeting children's needs or affecting their rights. Over the past two years, UNICEF has been working to change this. In partnership with the government of Finland and through collaborations with digital rights experts and children from all around the world, we developed a draft policy guidance on AI for children to be used as a tool for governments and companies. To ground the guidance with global perspectives, we consulted experts from around the world. And to understand how children and adolescents view AI, we consulted 245 children and adolescents in nine workshops in Brazil, Chile, South Africa, Sweden, and the United States. AI is being developed by adults, and uh, we need to make sure that these adults uh, think about what children would need in that context while developing it. I believe that there is no better way to overthrow adult centrums than by showing that we have a voice and that we don't have to ask permission to use it. Government and policymakers should definitely be responsible because they need to ensure that they understand what the product is and they need to also ensure that it's being used safely. Because the world is changing so fast, child rights can't always keep up and protect uh, the most vulnerable. Once the draft policy guidance was in place, we asked governments and companies to pilot it as a way to move from principles to practice, learn what works and what doesn't, and inform and improve future versions. We worked with eight organizations who used the guidance and published their case studies as lessons to help others. These learnings and feedback from a public consultation on the draft informed an update to the guidance. Uh, publishing the case study gave us the opportunity to participate in the discussion around child centered AI globally and also opportunity to show what kind of decision there are to be made while developing harassment reporting tool for children. I think it would be fantastic to see uh, more resources focused on researchers, developers, to not just create for children, but to explicitly create with children. I think that that would be a fantastic next step. We've come a long way, but the journey towards AI for children is only just getting started. With the rapid advancement of AI technologies, more countries and companies need to commit to child-centered AI policies and systems and include children's voices in the process so we can meet the needs of more children, safeguard their rights and empower them to thrive in our changing world.